very long story. Let's leave it for the night. No, no! <laughs> you will find a way I make it short. You're fond of keeping me in suspense with your stories. All right then. Let's make it short. Mm -hmm. So the princess did the unexpected. She accepted to marry the poor orphan named among her suitors. Oh, you didn't tell me one of the princess's suitors was an orphan. I just told you. Everybody was shocked when Princess Adama accepted to marry Namdi, the poor orphan. The orphan. You, you, you! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Hey, what? Wait a minute. What? That's not nice. <laughs> You've been stringing me along with our story and I didn't even figure it out. Oh my God. So didn't you hear when I said that the princess in my story was a frog. Yeah. Are you a frog? A frog. Mm -hmm. A frog. Are you a frog. A frog. Mm -hmm. You were such a corny story. <laughs> and you are such a wonderful listener, baby. Well, I love your stories. And I love you. You know, I promised your father that I'm going to love you loves your mother. And I promised him that I will respect you more than my mother respects me. I will give you children. And Adam, I, I know we have this problem of childlessness hanging on our necks. But this is one promise I give to you. Just like your father. I will never marry any other woman till death do all part. I love you so much. What's going on here? What does it look like? I can't, certainly. I, I, I can't really say, but whatever it is, I certainly, it's not appealing to me. Please, let it stop. I am the princess of Asa Kingdom. You do not, I repeat, do not stop. You seem to have forgotten where you come from, you ingrate. Look, your father, a most noble king, willingly consented to this union and blessed him. Before anything, that great man never made one mistake in his life. Exactly why I worry. Why would he make one mistake in his long life? You. And what are you waiting for? Will you go up there and bring the rest? I think you're getting this all wrong. Stop deceiving yourself. I just need time. Time to go my enough. No, you have run out of it. The party is over. It has not come to the point that you will leave the house. <laughs> no, 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 my darling. Look around you. I'm not the one leaving. You are. What? Mm -hmm. In case you forgot, this house belongs to me. It's my house. It is not our house. Gods! Gods! It takes more. Much more than mere accusations to dampen the spirit of the brave. 
And it takes but an act as little as faithfulness to make a coward a king. Leave here this moment. Or would you rather we do you the honors of the whole community singing you home? What is it? My princess, the king beckons. Is everything alright? I'm afraid not, my princess, but the king wants you and your husband to come immediately. I'm coming with you, he's not. Is everything alright? Kingdom with looking with uh, you know, uh, my lord, even in pains, the sense of humor still supreme. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Uh. Even in widows, father, the echo of the patcher is clearly distinct in your vibes. Why scare the daylights out of these women you tell love? Um, I Princess, the departure of an honored one is incomplete if adequate preparations are not made towards the departure. But it's not yet time for your departure, my king. Ah, uh, 
Namdi, my son who treats loyalty with kindness and valor. Even to suggest that he was born with it. Every journey has an end. <laughs> I have journeyed most fruitful. I am only a handshake away from my ancestors. Oh, princess, my princess. I wish I could subdue nature so that we grow old together. But the creator, the supreme God, did not reveal to the gods the secrets of holding the hands of time. The father, the SMO can, can surely do something. <coughs> oh, sorry, father. It's okay. 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 And significantly clairvoyant as the gods entrusted them with, cannot reverse the supreme wish when the big gong sounds in the spirit world. Uh, but, my king, please, we still need you around for your wise counsel, please. It's not time for your departure. Please. Don't beg me. It's not in my hands. This journey has been smooth so far. But the departure, the departure must certainly usher in a tumultuous, torturous rancor. Father, again you speak in riddles. The gods, in their wisdom, have not ironed out my succession with a smooth machine. Without a male child and no grandchild in sight. Our tradition is merciless. There is no need for you to follow me. I can see him alone. Chief, what if things don't work out as planned? It's only a fool who can embark on an ambitious project like this without plan B. <laughs> okay, very well, I'll see you later. Huh? All is well. Eh? <laughs> for an emergency. The journey has just begun. Uh, do you mean the king's journey? Exactly. In seven days' time, it will be all over. Ufi Ufi 
But we won't be ready in seven days' time. That is why I'm here. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, meanwhile, the chicken pepper soup is ready. Shall we go on them? Believe him and put your trust in him. He will always make your battles his own. Kingdom, I am entitled to at least seven wives. But I vowed to my queen that I wasn't marrying a mother when I brought her in. is what more than seven women. I never knew the gods were determined to force me to break my vow. No king enjoys living without a successor. In sight. But a king that cannot keep a vow is not worthy of his kingdom. The Majesty. My queen. Ah. Why, 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 save the tears that will be used to wash my toe. Yeah. Mm. Namdi. Your Majesty. I want the two of you to listen to me attentively. I know you are going through a rough patch right now. It's been seven years. 
um, no sign of a child. Father, I have already made the decision. We are... You are the daughter of your father. Action. Yes. Action. Uh, but my daughter, beware. To be trusted is a greater compliment than to be loved. Hmm? Do not mix the two up. There is a war coming. War? Your Majesty, as a warrior, I will not shy away from defending your name in any war that comes. There is a war coming. And both of you do not stand a chance without each other. Whatever happens after the war will be your true test of character. I only tell you to cry out for insight and understanding. Seek them as you would seek lost money or hidden treasure. Father. We are a people with culture and tradition. I have tried to abolish the negative words and uphold the good words. And I give the Almighty God the glory. I need a successor who will carry on in the same state. As for the war I talked about, We'll have to pray to God and he will take the battle as his own. Your Majesty, I shall fight the war. And they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mire of the street in the battle and they shall fight because the Lord is with them. And the riders on horses shall be confounded. Believe on these words, my son. And hold on to this book. It was given to me recently by my good Elma.
Faithful husband. <sighs> um, you still need some rest, Your Majesty. Uh, but Just come down. But man, man, <sighs> they all dance to the tune of. Greed and self satisfaction. Just the way a chameleon dances with colors. But, Your Majesty. I will not try to bind you by any powers. I would only ask you to live your dream. My dream? Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Fourteen years ago, you told me about the dream where you have found two big wooden gongs in the forest. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. Yes. I want you to cast your mind back to that dream. I want you to remember every detail of it. Yes. Your Majesty, I can remember every detail of those dreams. In fact, I had that dream seven good times. Yes. The choice is yours, Nanda. Just if you must die, being brave is not enough. Wisdom comes from above. Wisdom, my son, is the only weapon which you will use against the adequately armed opposition. What opposition, Your Majesty? Hmm. Namdi, my daughter is only but a woman, and the passions of a woman are usually laced with arrows that are spiced with deadly poison. Your Majesty, with profound respect, all your words pass me by. I can't piece them together. Wisdom, my loyal servant. Loyalty has its prize and reward. But in the end, the reward more than evens out the price. Our ancestors are beckoning. It's not in my heart. But whoever refuses a noble call, 
I have done my bit. Time to pass the bat. But there's no... Magnus, you have been my greatest, closest confidant. Do not let them subdue my family. Always be there to direct them when the wolves come knocking on the door. Your Majesty, do you still wish that Namdi, your servant, succeeds you? Remember, he is married to the princess, the only princess of Asa. So long as he stays married to my daughter, he should be crowned. They will have sons. Don't tell me again. You are not going yet. You are not going yet. You are not going yet. Who else but my closest confidant will shoot the first arrow? As our tradition demands, as representatives of each village in Asa Kingdom, and according to tradition of Asa, I am informing you of our king's journey to our ancestors. Hey, the lion has finally left the forest. Asa! Asa Wan. Um, I do not have to repeat what is expected of you in this circumstance. According to Asa Kingdom. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
on a me at all of it, or feet in oil, my tall or mal or mal, and they were men of us are kingdom. The die is cast. Our king has started the journey to the great beyond. He has gone to communion with the ancestral spirits. Seven days, he will neither talk or recognize anybody. In fact, his eyes must remain shut. He will neither stand. On the seventh day, he's supposed to give up the ghost. In those seven days, we are supposed to prepare the next king for accession to the throne. But it appears there's no king to prepare. But there is a king in waiting, of course. Oputa, uh -huh. is there something you know that we don't? Oputa, we are all ears. Is there no longer lay down procedure and tradition in our sa community? Oputa, you are beating about the bush. Is Chief Magnus Okina Mini not next in line of Assad community society? Nebe. Not that we know of. We are yet to know that, Oputa. Even when you don't believe my innocence, my princess, the king, your father, a most noble man, spoke to me. I was the last person he spoke to before passing into transitional oblivion. He told me things. What things? Adama. From a noble man to a loyal servant and a son-in-law. He spoke to me. Loyalty, Adama. Mother, does loyalty have an infidelity? My princess, on what physical bliss would a man be holding you indulge in any act of unfaithfulness? And when a man lies and cheats, how on earth does he think that he can stay married to the princess of Asa kingdom? The journey ahead is not only far, but dangerously tortuous. Hm. Let me stay back and lend a hand. No way. I don't need you around me. He stays. He must stay, not in this house. You will stay in one of the rooms at the boys' quarters. I don't have a problem with that. Thank you for the opportunity, my queen. Adam, has it ever crossed your mind that this man 
that your trust in Aram might be so innocent? Huh? Innocent? Yes, of course. this all alone? Now you see for yourself. Do you see? Now I understand. Ada, if we will survive, we still need Namdi by our side. I promise you, Siri, we will handle this letter, okay? It's a promise. We will lose everything if another person is crown king. We will lose everything we worked so hard all these years. Ada, we have a lot to lose. What do we do? 
I have never doubted your father's wisdom. And I don't think we should start now. Okay? I am hurt. And I intend to... Think about what I've just told you. Once again. Sweetie, please. Okay? Just think. You were barely six weeks old when your mother brought you to our king. Moja, it amazes me how accurate you are with records. Why people like you make use of their eyes? I see with my mind. Take it from me. The, the mind sees further than the eyes. I agree. I guess you're right. That same night that your mother brought you to a king, she died. But because one who's she is not in support of his death, does not die a careless death, you were raised up in the palace. That's what I heard. Our king, His Royal Highness, Anamadike Okunamili, Ezoba Tureni II of Asa Kingdom, saw your strength among other qualities and drafted you into a threatening of royal staff, royal guards. Mwanja, you shall have a way with words. That you distinguished yourself among hundred others is so glaring that the king gave his only daughter to you in marriage. You have every reason to be happy and thankful to your God, my good friend. To God be the glory. I am not afraid of you, but even if, isn't it because the brother in question has both evil thoughts in his mind at any point in time? If I wasn't certain, I would have concluded that our father had nothing to do with you coming into this world. Nothing to do with it. You may be convinced, but I am not and will never be that both of us came from the same father. Never. <laughs> Even if you don't want to kill me, I can take it and drink because two of us are brothers would they like it a lot. Mm. This is strong drink. Kaja. Oh, look at what you will do. I enjoy it. Eh? Hey. Hey. Um. Oh, yes. The days are here. What days? <laughs> Two days. And the king of Asa kingdom will cease to be. Two days. Great pity that such a great man will just pass on so soon. Um, men, however great, will die for others to grow. If a great man does not die, then another will not come forth. And that's anomalous. You have a point there, my brother. But the question remains, who around us are 
we fit into the big shoes left behind by our king? That's the question. He left no heir behind. Hmm? Most painfully too. But let me tell you, no kingdom falls up just because its stupid king failed to leave an heir behind. No. No. How do you mean stupid? He should have married seven wives. But he stuck to one woman, one wife, even when her womb was sealed by the gods. Hmm? Seven wives, at least. Her womb sealed by the gods? Yes! The same gods followed the only princess to a man she shouldn't have married in the first place. Hmm? Magnus, why are you here? Why are you here, Magnus? Ah. <laughs> Very simple. The kingship of our sa kingdom has come home. Home. Come home? Home to our family. Our own family. Okay. Let me tell you. I have been patient for years. But in two days, I'll wait no more. <laughs> I'll wait no more. <laughs> I'll wait no more. <laughs> My brother, if I may ask, are you not aware that the princess and the husband are still around? Are, are you, Have you, are you reasoning like a normal human being? Yes. Eh? I am here to get your support and you're telling me about the princess and her husband. Eh? Wait till. My, my support for you. Your support for me to get crowned as the king of Asa kingdom. <laughs> Igwe! <laughs> are, are, you, are you getting mad? Huh? Hey! It's better I am mad than you being the king of Asa. Ove, we see a lot of people. Adam, you are the only one I have in this whole world. I'm feeling terribly bad that your husband is treating you so wickedly after all the trust we placed on his shoulders. But I promise your father that I will not sit and watch all that he worked for go down the drain. That's my promise to your father. And the only way to do that is by not allowing the crown to leave this family. We can't do that without Namdi. Adam. We have Uncle Magnus. We don't need a Namdi. How wrong you are, my dear. Your father repeatedly told me never to trust your Uncle Magnus. He said he is a wolf in the house. Really? Yes. If Magnus becomes the king, Ada, we are finished. That is why we have to stick with Namdi. See, we have to stick with him until we get the crown. But I promise you that after that, we will deal with him. That's a promise. Okay? When an elder eats without asking questions, he dies without knowing what killed him. Is my brother Magnus right to go for the kingship of Asa? That is, if by tomorrow our king passes on. But when the cat is away, the mice dance at the lobo in its residence. Uncle, 
I don't understand I'm at the loss. Of course, your brother has every right to take it. Only if you let him. Only if I let him? Uh, yes, of course. You are in your mid-fifties. None of your mates all over the world can be regarded as a youth. I'm aware, Uncle. Good. Your brother Magnus came to Asa in the embryo with your mother. Yes, I know. No. Your father insisted and went ahead to install Magnus as his first son in that ceremony you witnessed. Yes, I recall. That was for your father, DK. Here, in Asa Kingdom, the tradition is clear. No one born under such circumstances in Asa here can ever be made king. No, I can't possibly stay away when a man that I've loved more than any other transits to life after. Namdi, sit down. Thank you, my queen. I'm happy you came. Thank you very much. Do you wish to see him? Yes, very much. Adama, take him to your father. Never knew anything like this would happen. Never witnessed such in my life either. And I ask, why? Tradition, my dear. Tradition that will make one go through hell unnecessarily. What are you talking about? The tradition our kingdom. Be that as it may, I will not let the ultimate honor of our kingdom depart from your lineage as long as I live.
tragedy has befallen the land of Asa. The ancestral wind has caught up with our beloved king. We may be saddled with burial plans. I believe we are all equal to the task. The big headache we are burdened with is that of a successor. We are all aware that the king will not be buried until a new king is crowned. And the late king left us with no heir to crown. Edans of Asalam, I greet you all. Thank you. I greet you too. There is no problem so difficult that there is no solution to it. That cow that has no tail is God, Jesus flies of it. The king may not have left a son behind, but we all know we have a, uh, this. Uh, ma, uh, the gods of Asa have clearly declared that the leadership will locate. Well, well, sit down! Why shut him down? In view of our present situation, we need to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. Asa Queen! Yeah! Queen! 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 If indeed Asa is Obuduku, let us behave like people from a great kingdom. We are all aware of our situation. We know too that we have an option. Princess Adama may not have conceived yet, but she has lived with her husband for seven years. That is why we should look for leadership elsewhere. Where else? Uh -uh. Where else do you want us to look for? All right. Eh? Eh? Do you know? The Zemo is standing and talking. In accordance with our tradition and in respect of the late king's wish, we must invite the princess. If she is ready to do what it takes so that her husband becomes the king, we will comply. We speak for the gods. The consequences of talking out of turn are too grave to be ignored. Our misfortunes not always averted when haste is embraced. Eh? Is one not want to squat and dig out the last piece of yam when the tuba is broken, when dug out in haste? Come on, Gilma. Gilma. The princess will have to go through a rigorous ritual and then journey to the evil forest and get the offer. Failing to bring back the offer within seven days, she and her mother will be deemed outcasts and driven out of her side. Oh, uh, I'm a name. Well spoken, is a mock. Well spoken. Who are they? Then let us invite the princess and her majesty 
to come before this gathering. Yes. My king, yeah. how did it go? It's on. It's on. You know what? You have to dress up. Because very soon, you will become the queen of Asa Kingdom. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to become the queen of Asa Kingdom. Oh, so happy, so happy, so happy, so happy. Yeah, yeah, so happy. Oh, my king, I have five princes and two princesses for you. Mm -hmm. I pray you, please, do not marry another wife, please. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> but is that your worry? Over Wussy, a rock or Nike. Uber, Uber. You know, our people say the world has ears. Yes, you are right. Well, I decided this place because it's lonely. It's good to keep order and to keep secrecy. <laughs> you are very intelligent. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I have one question to ask. What is it? That, is it true that the princess is making an attempt to hold onto the throne? From all indication, she will try. But believe me, the ritual involved is more than intense. And after that, the princess will still have to go to the evil forest. It is not a journey for women. Okay, uh, what if she decides to go? Then she will never return. Huh? Yes. she <laughs> see <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Eh? Uh, you see, already there is enough to eat and drink. But I'm assuring you that there will be more to eat and drink once I become king. Uh, eh? Already the king. <laughs> I'm under the impression that you already the king. There's no doubt about it. Enjoy yourself. Magnus, mm -hmm. Magnus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Secure them. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uncle, you're welcome. Oh, thank you very much, dear. Uh, where is your father? You mean the king? The king? What did you just say? Don't you know that I am the princess? Eh? The princess? <laughs> anyway, come and leave it to the father. No, am I the princess? Yes, my baby, you're a princess, okay? Mom, you're welcome. Thank you, my wife. Uh, where is the... Uh, I mean, where is my brother? Oh, he's inside. Inside? In his OB, yes. In his OB? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Come in. Your Majesty. 
Where have you been? I went for the cows. I just brought two. Chifonoka said we need seven big cows for the burial. And I have to garner the seven in the next three days. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a duty I owe to my late master. You're welcome. I can see you're already in the mood. What mood? What else are we talking about other than the truth? I can see it and I can feel it everywhere. So you now believe it's our turn? Um, I've given it a secondary thought. And I say to myself, if the kingdom is dying with him, why the hesitation? <laughs> For the first time, my brother cut down things straight. And consequent upon that, I made an inquiry. An inquiry? What inquiry? <laughs> and my finding was, in the first place, that you were not truly our father's first son, as the tradition demands of our kingdom. And again, that if the kingdom should leave, it's present abode. It should rest squarely on my shoulders. Who told you that's rubbish? Ah. Does this source matter? What really matters is the truth. And you know I must him. Who told you that? If you must know, we have an upright man in this town. Nza Idika told me that. Idika the fool told you that. What's your utterances? What does that fool know? He knows a lot and you know it. What do you know? What do you know? What I know. What do you know? Enough to know that standing before you is the future king of Asa kingdom. If at all that kingdom should leave its present abode. Goodbye. <laughs> My king, is everything all right? Get out, please. Get out. 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 Get There are no two ways about it. The throne stays here, in this house. <sighs> Uncle Magnus will never be allowed to achieve his wicked dreams. Adama, the elegant princess of Asa Kingdom. The people of Asa are here in the palace. All the elders of each village of Asa, all the chief priests of Asa Kingdom, and Ezemo himself. We are gathered in honor of a great man, your father. And to protect our tradition and values as a people, 
we ask you with every symbol of our son, what is your take with regards to your father's tomb? Thank you, great men of Asa kingdom. A few hours before my late father passed into coma, he asked me to ensure that I do all it takes to have his son-in-law succeed him. I have never disobeyed my father while he was alive. I do not see myself disobeying the wishes of a dying man now. How could you ever think of making Nand a king? By the virtue of having the princess of Asa as wife. Does the princess know what is really involved in making a man the king? I know. And I am ready. We have all heard you. If you break your word, you break something that cannot be mended. Your Majesty, what is your own opinion? My daughter is prepared. Then, let's get ready for the seven-day ritual. towards you. Why do you want to carry on with this? I do not understand why you have such intentions for me. But then I'm carrying out your father's instructions. The seven day ritual I'm about to undergo, I am told will be like hell. And after that, I will journey into the evil forest alone in search of the awful. My duty as your husband is to stand with your third. And I'll do just that. Nandi, things are a lot different between us now. No matter what happens, Always remember that. I'll go to the evil forest instead. You can't. I am the I one. can. I've asked the SDM one, he said I can. As long as you give your consent.
Boki de Wanuna. Are you not aware that uh, Zaidika is dead? Dead? Yes. Well, uh, was he too old to join his ancestors? Old enough, you see. Mm -hmm. But was strong enough only two days ago. So, but do you think it's only weakness who died? The tiger died. Power Mike died. I better died. How did they? How did they? Magnus. You know I don't subscribe to coincidence. What coincidence? You hmm? remember what he said concerning why I, instead of you, should be the next king of Asa, if that comes in place. And so? You're asking me and so. And so what? He said the cat dropped dead and you're asking me and so? What are you insinuating? <laughs> insinuating? Mm -hmm. Magnus, my brother, tell yourself the truth. If a witch cries in the night and a child dies in the morning, what did they do? You are a fool. You call me a fool? That's what you are. And let me warn you. Don't dare me. You call me a fool? Don't dare me. <laughs> let me tell you one thing. You will only be the next king of Asa over a dead body. And get it into your little score. I am not ready. I will not die. As in Zidia, since I died. Who feel you see a lock nigger? Then the uncle. Who feel you see a lock nigger? We shall see. We shall see. No matter how stubborn a fish is, it becomes calm inside an old woman's pot of soup. Uh, you are right, Ijengaga. Eh? You are right. Eh? Just do your bit, eh? and I'll do mine. Okay. And be rest assured that everything will work as planned. Hmm? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Eh? Ijenganga. The legs that move sharply in the dark. I will probably observe by the eyes that move sharply in the dark. I have no eyesight, 
And you thought I wouldn't notice you? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Only an extremely wicked witch that kisses the mouth of the head she wishes to be head. I don't understand, mother. I walked into you, Anunamde, with your door not even locked. And your father's corpse is not yet interred. Um, mother, I, I don't know. And you come to me? Show me pictures of a man's infidelity. Honestly, Mama, I don't know what got into me. I don't care whatever you do with him. After all, he's still your husband. But I wouldn't want your emotion come breaking on me. We need Namdi now more than he needs us. I have accepted that. Don't push him. Don't push him too hard, okay? Please don't. Mother. Mm -hmm. Namdi has promised to go into the evil forest and get the offer for me. He did? Your Majesty, just came to inform you that I want to take a stroll. Did you tell Adam Mother you'd be going to the evil forest on her behalf? Yes, I did. If that's the last thing I would do for the woman I've ever loved, I would do it a hundred times over. I'll go to the evil forest, bring back the offer, whatever it takes. Everything is ready, and congratulations once more, Your Highness. Thank you, Doc. So we can go now. Yeah, you can go now. Yes. Amaka. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, like you. <laughs> Johannes, let me drop you here. Okay, Chief. Um, no one should see us together for now. Chief is going to take very good care of you, man. Right? I'll come let up to see you. Love you. Love you too. See you later. Oh.
You guessed? I told you I see with my mind. You're welcome. Ah. Ah. Ebele. Ngagawa o. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've seen the wonderful effort you're making to give your in-law our Igwe. A befitting burial. The king was everything to me. The best father I never had. I know. But things don't appear normal around here. How do you mean? The other day, I witnessed Chief Magnus and his Jenga. Where it shouldn't be. You witnessed? With my mind. It didn't just fit. Why would Chief Idika suddenly drop dead? Chief. It's very nice here. But I want to go home. Shut up. Shut up. Didn't I tell you that your staying here is for your safety and the safety of your son? You did, but... I said shut up! Let me tell you. This, your son, is your ticket to the royalty of a sack kingdom. Why do you think I want something to happen to your son? Nothing will happen to my son, Chief. In fact, I will take care of him with everything I've got. Part of everything you have got is staying here patiently until the appointed time. Appointed time? Yes. In Nam, they will be crowned king and your son will be his heir. You are aware his wife has no son for him. Are you not? I'm not so when he is crowned king, you will be crowned along with him. Chief. Are you serious? I'm serious. What do you think all this arrangement is all about? Oh my god. So I will become the queen of Asa. Oh my god. But Chief, why are you doing this for me? Look at the kind of question you're asking. Would you like to be a queen? Eh? Of course I want it very much. It's just that. I want to know why you chose me of all the girls in Asa. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, well, let's just say yeah, that's a promise I made to your father at his dying bed. Your father used to be my friend. <laughs> I saw determination and Namdi. It's quite noble of him to take the decision of going to the evil forest for you. But, but there's something. What, mother? He loves you. I recognize affection in a man's eyes 
when he speaks love. And such genuine affection I have never seen in any other man except in that of your father's. When he promised me that he would take no other woman besides me. So, what are you driving at? Anyways, regardless of all the generosity and the love that he claims to have for me, I will never, ever live with a man that has cheated on me. He knows all that and he still wants to go to the evil forest for your sake. I can as well do it for myself. That is why I'm scared. Because I know that they will never allow you to come back alive. What choice do we have, Mother? And that we have the choice of keeping everything we know to ourselves. Let's keep it in our hearts. See, we have to make Namdi believe that we don't have anything against him. I know that these people will try to stop him. But we have to do everything possible for him to go. Okay? It's for our own good. Come on. That travel with the princess, I know everything about it. But it amazes me why a woman who should know you more than every other man living should mistrust you. It amazes me too. But I support your desire to go to the evil forest. I haven't told you that. Have I? No, oh, you haven't. You need it. But I have my ears to the ground. What I have not heard in our sad kingdom, then the gods have not heard. Waja, <laughs> who told you? Don't bother. I'm all by your side. I will even accompany you to the forest. Accompany me? Mm -hmm. No, you can't. You can't. The tradition forbids anybody from going with me.
you will remain inside this drum till this time tomorrow. Whoever tries as far as near as touching this drum drops dead. He said, If the gods don't want you, we'll find you dead by tomorrow morning. He said, Hello, sir, sir. I am a good guy, sir, man, to do. That was callous of you. Very callous. Mm, we'll get him. We always do. Not now he's away, you are after him. Mm. We set a convenient trap. Be fast about it. I'm going. Uh, wait, there's one other thing. What is it? Killing the princess before she finishes with the rituals may be extremely difficult. Why? Um, Ezemo has protective charms all around her. <sighs> Your job is to find a way out. Mm. Adama, Princess, Adama. She wouldn't come out of the drum alive. Mm, I tried, but there are forces protecting her. What forces? Mm, to be honest with you, I still do not know the source of power that protected her. I think it's the spirit of her dead father. You once told me that the dead stay dumb. Mm, of course. But we are talking of the spirit of yet to be buried King of Asa. Kingdom. Ijunganga, I want result. I want result. I'll try. Abrakra, 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 one who gets him, and one of the Matarok, and we can't go for the day. Who name and I'm here, but I didn't move. Our princess. So say the gods on the second day of your kinship test. The gizzard inside this pot, the ancestral bird of Asa kingdom, is expected to pick the gizzard inside the pot. If this doesn't happen before nightfall, then the ancestral spirits the chain to the gods of Asa kingdom have rejected you.
Alo. Alo. Ndembena ndegede. Ogini. The ancestral spirit of our side kingdom. You should never allow an orphan to become the king of our side kingdom. And what a bloomberg. Ogwoji na fo. Why can't I just sleep? There is fire on the mountain. The spirits you sent to kill my brother have been caught alive. How could you have seen them? How? Then, go home and rest. Your wishes will be granted. What about the princess? Hmm. Her fate is completely out of my hands. Why? I said go home and sleep. You are troubling the gods. Go home. The princess will start her last journey. So far, the gods have stood by her. Fellow elders, last night, somebody wanted to take my life. Mm. But on counter-attack, 
he disappeared mysteriously. My worry, husband, why are we not asking questions? Because the king is still unburied. That's why we are not asking questions. Immediately we finish the burial, we will attend to that. <laughs> it must have been the same way Trifidika was killed. I have no eyes, but I can see very far. I have ears, and I make very good use of them. We may have, but then I missed a murderer. Yes. I am under the shadow of doubt to believe that you are blind, but see everything that happens in Asa Kingdom. It's simple. Why not go ahead and tell us who this murderer is? Oh. Tell us. Eh? Tell us, since you know everything. We are all ears. This is a new trend. And if actually somebody is involved in the killing of Chivitika, it's an abomination in Asaka. Once we have buried our king, we will find out. We always have. But tonight, the princess will complete her task. Like this till tomorrow morning. If we find you like this and alive, your sacrifice is complete. Nobody should ever come near this river, let alone set eyes on you. It is between you and the goddess of the sea. All the seven villages of Fasa were covered by water until one fisherman came along. He decided to stay and beg the goddess of water to give him land. After seven days, the goddess of water made all the land that is Asa today. This stream still represents that mighty lake.
not escape tonight. She's now in the deepest trouble of her life. <laughs> so, Ufe Busi, Ere or Kunike. That's good. That's good. <laughs> in a matter of minutes. You have to go home. Chief Priest of Asa, as a Mo and the priest, Princess Adama has concluded the mandatory seven-day ritual as directed by the gods. And so far, the gods are happy with her. We have four market weeks left for our king to be led to rest with his ancestors. I'm glad everybody knows it. We all know what is next. The princess will go to the Gable Forest our offer for her husband will be considered as king of the hmm. Yes, of course. If she doesn't come back in seven days, she will never come back. Yes. <laughs> you will live tonight. He cannot go. That is not possible. 
as a monk. You are the custodian of our tradition. Tell us, is that possible? You truly wish him to go for the phone? Yes. Very possible. He is her husband. The princess is right. If he decides to go for the opal, that's okay. Anybody can go for the opal. What we want is the opal in seven days' time. What a confused tradition. Why do you always like to be on the opposing side? Hey, be careful, Chief Goku. The reason one with white clothes runs from oil is the same reason one with oil runs from white clothes. If you don't come back in seven days, the princess and the queen will be deemed outcasts, banished from this kingdom. <laughs> My father told me that whoever that will enter the evil forest in search of the fall of a sad kingdom needs seven days to prepare. Part of that preparation is the seven days spiritual exercise the princess just went through. What about her husband going for the journey? We have 16 days to bury our king. Seven days for the king's in-law. That I have never been to a native doctor before for medicine. I know. Then how do I prepare? <laughs> Under this very tree, my father told me that the greatest medicine is none at all. None? As in none? Yes. What one does not know, does not kill him. Oh. You see this order, given to me by my father, inherited from his own father, is the greatest instrument that is heard by both the living and the dead, both spirits and human. Really? You are going to the evil forest. There are evil spirits there. I will use this soldier to call you. Wherever you are, we will hear it. And when I say, move right, move right. When I say move left, move left. And when I say move straight, I will move straight. You see? I can see in the dark by the Ezemo. My father was the greatest native doctor in Asa. Before he died, he bade me never to take after him. Why? As a Dibia, the temptation to do evil is much. But the evil deed of the Dibia returns to his generation manifold. Hmm. Look at me, a blind nobody paying the price. But you can see with your mind. Oh yes, my children will inherit a clean bill Wipe my tears. Keep the content of the bag handy. There is a spiritual chalk inside. No evil spirit will harm you. 
when they draw a circle with the chalk and stay inside the circle. But why are you... Namde. Don't ask me that question. Namde. One good turn deserves another. That's the saying I love so much. Keep doing good, my friend. You will reap the reward of goodness. Inside the bag, there are eggs. And the eggs will be used for. Everything is going wrong. Everything can go wrong, my king. In fact, nothing will go wrong. What do you know? What do you know? My king, are you going out? Why did you ever cheat on me? Not. I would rather not discuss it now that I'm about to embark on a journey to the evil forest. Do you really wish to sit on that throne as king? Are you asking if I would abandon the quest for the awful so that you and your mother will be punished afterwards? Do you really wish to sit on that throne as king? As a king that will cease to mean anything to you as soon as you have a child, huh? I ask the questions here and you will supply me with all the answers that I need. Stop trying to turn the tables against me here. I am not the chief. I am. Um, you will say now or do. Namdi, your journey with destiny awaits. is the evil forest. Somewhere there lies the offer of Asa. You have seven days to find it and bring it home.
Listen, if he ever returns, this Asar kingdom will be too hot for the two of us. Hey, Jabra, he won't return. That's what he said in the case of the princess. Yet, the princess is still living. The princess is a different uh, kettle of a fish. Her father's roaming spirit was all around her. This one is on his own. You better be fast enough. Your wish is my command. Mm. Mm. My great men of Asa, the signs are not quite positive. The king's in-law may not return. If he doesn't, what do we do? Why ask? It is quite clear. What we do is to chase the princess and the queen out of uh, the palace and out, out of Asa. After that? We crown the new king and bury our king. And you think it is as easy as that? Uh -uh. What else is difficult there? Okay. Who do we crown? Who else but the Chief Magnus? Hmm. Is Chief Magnus Okanamini not next in line of Asa Kingdom Surya Halak? Exactly. Dungwaya. On the surface, yes. But we are old enough to know and not to be told. Know what? That traditionally, Chief Magnus is not the right person to be crowned. What are you talking about? Sit down, Mr. Puta. I said sit down. My people, Surukete dance is a dance meant only for the spirits. Men who partake in, in the dance are only ignorant. I'm not blind. Neither are the gods I represent. I know that I know Chief Magnus maneuvers, but it's only dancing around the antelope meat, which truly is not meant for him. Ezemo, <clears throat> what are you saying? Are you anyway trying to challenge our Ezemo? If he tries to mislead us, but Ezemo has never misled us before. I wonder. He has never. Thank you, Ibudu. We all know that the next in line in the kingdom of Asa is, is Dike Okunamiri, not Magdu. It is his brother Oku instead. Mbano. Mbano. Uh, is there anyone here who wants to join them? No, not me. When I die, I would like to be buried honorably. The wind of falsehood has never blown pleasantries to a to tired men. Let us not shy away from the fact that we have a problem.
but what bothers me now is if he will come back with the offer or not. Yeah. It bothers me too. Mm. What if? What if he doesn't come back at all? Uh, if he doesn't, what, what, what do I do? What do we do? Come back, I'm not saying that. He will. Eh? Let's hope he would, okay? Okay. He will. going to be locked in here like prisoners. Prisoners? Oh yes. Prisoners of fortune, of course. But Chief... Shh. Your king is right now in the evil forest to get the offer. Evil forest? Yes. The offer is a must for him to be crowned. The evil forest? See, don't worry. Because uh, right now, the best seven warriors and seven native doctors of Asa Kingdom are with him. So in a matter of days, you are going to reap the fruit of your long labor. But Chief, will I actually become the Queen of Asa Kingdom? Would this your son you a queen already? Already. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Be happy, feel happy. Yeah, I can see the joy. <laughs> you are the heir to the throne. Not too long in the future. Uh -huh. Father, you little boy. Went into the evil forest? This is the symbol of my kingship. The offer of the kingship of the Asa Kingdom.
This is great. Uh, Goodbye. Bye. Hey. Uh -huh. Ah. 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 If a witch cries in the night and the child dies in the morning, uh, which witch? Which child is a moon? It's your puta. Are you a stranger? I wonder. Ibalabia. Ukwakuna Miri died last night, just a few hours, after confirming he's the next king if things didn't work out. <laughs> because Our king is still unburied. Mm -hmm. Nothing much will be said about the death of Oku. Just like that of Dika. And the culprits will certainly pay. He said. Kiko Collins. The main obstacle is out of the way. Yes, one obstacle. But the main obstacle is in that evil forest. If he comes back with the offer, what happens? Hmm. He won't come back. You better be sure of that. I will, but... But what? What becomes of me? Ezemo is no fool. Besides, the gods talk to him. From the way he looked at me, he knows. Ofe wusi ele oku nike. Ofe wusi ele oku nike. Well, it's very simple. I'll make you the Ezemo once I am crowned. <laughs> that is all I needed. Your wish is accomplished.
Fabian. Papa, calamity, calamity staring at our kingdom in the face. Papa, hmm, okay, I need power. Nam cable, is a gum. Oh, we're in the bamba. We're in the mono. Nam deme, deme. Oh, you go. Oh, Wangaba 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 Nequeer, and Yangia Odogu, Kike Odogu Mamelame Onenja bakwa kika njifu Ese mpolo mpolo si mjebe njebe Nna mwa kike Odogu nje mono Ho Izulu keme
apa Oh ya jagain si Jo Oh ya nata apa Agak memang cunga He's alone in that evil forest. Let's just hope for the best, okay? They, they, they killed him! <laughs> they killed him with spurs! Listen to me. I know that our ancestors will protect him who seek to save their lineage. I know that for sure, okay? He'll be fine. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I just hope so. Yes, I am, my dear. See, let me tell you. They sent a little child to us that very night that we were on our way to save you in that stream. Do you know what our little child told us? She said you were safe. I know that that little child will also save Namdi. Okay? He will be fine. But I am so scared. I am scared. Why does all tradition have to involve so much rigor? Why? Why? Honestly, your mother never bothered to ask. Oh, good. So, I wish Namdi would have broken it. This torturous tradition. So that whoever ascends the throne after him will not have to go through it all. That boy is a brave young man. Now I'm beginning to understand why your father insisted on him being the one that will sit on the throne. He's brave. He'll come back, okay? Okay? He'll go back. Yeah, it's okay. The water you asked for, Your Majesty. <laughs> you are sure purchasing fast. <clears throat> okay. What are you doing there? Chief, I heard I call you His Majesty. Of course. Don't you know he will become the next king of Asa Kingdom? And that means I'm going to Become the next queen! Chief, I thought you said Namdi, the father of my son, is going to become the king and me the queen. <laughs> hey, shut up! Now, go back to your room. 
go back to your room. Ha! Oh! And you, learn how to keep your mouth shut. Don't give unsolicited information. My king. Get out. Get out. Namdi! You are proving to be a great man. Watcha. How did you come here? My good friend, I told you I'll come with you. Come. Come! 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 Don't tell me he's still alive. Mm, but he wouldn't be for long. Welcome. <laughs> It's high time we got involved in the fight to protect and preserve the sanity and sanctity of our son monarchy. Something is wrong somewhere. And now that Prince Oku Okunamili is dead, we can no longer fold our hands. Mm, but as a more, we should interfere. If we don't interfere, the consequences, including Chief Magnus becoming the next king of Asa, are just too great. At the last count, he has killed his uncle, Idika, and his blood brother, Oku. Where do you think this kingdom would be if such a bloodthirsty leader becomes the king. The gods of Alan should fight against such wickedness. The gods of our land expect us to fight for our land. I've asked the gods. They are not against our protecting the king's in law. Then we have to do what we can. Mm -hmm. We have only three more days. But is he still alive? Is um, but he hasn't located the offer yet. Up to now, up to now, but we have hope. Roger, no, there must be another route. I can't cross fire, I can't cross fire. Ha, ha, ha. 
happen there right now but all I can say I want to tell you something the battle has just begun go back to your places and offer your best is it more I hope we are doing the right thing now certainly
I wouldn't need you when I become a demo. Oh,
Welcome to the Women's Kingdom. And you see the princess has made a fantastic choice. Hmm. More. I can see the new things standing here. Sweet things. I think I like him. He's mine. Ma, behave yourself. Mom! Your sister is right. Stay away from our new game.
Omo. Oja. What is this? Stop that. Stop that. What is this? Catastrophe befalls men when they refuse to read the sign. Exactly. But what is it, Oja? There is danger. Asa is in danger. Uh huh. What could be the danger? Ezemo, my Oja. I lost my Oja. Somebody came into my house and stole my Oja. Ezemo. Uh, you have lost your Oja. You may not see it. But you should have known that I have more important things doing here. Hi. Ezemo, you do not understand. Understand what? Huh? Eh? What do, you, what do you want me to understand? Is it because your Oja is lost? What is what is important about the loss of Oja? Hey, Ezemo, it is the Oja given to me by my father. Uh, given to him by his father. Uh -huh. I know everyone in our staff knows the history of your Oja. If you have lost it, you have lost it. No, Ezemo, with your spiritual eyes, you should know that if I don't see the Oja now and fast, Ndam, they will never have a kid home from the evil forest. Okay. Is there more? As our kingdom is in trouble, do something. This is our kingdom. So, why only women? Don't you like women? Of course I do. But seeing only women around makes it scary. You don't have to be scared. Yeah, seriously, you don't have to be. You're in seven hands. <laughs> Alright, seven. So what do I give to you? I'll close my eyes. I'll be doing <laughs> It is Mwakuda, the little hunter, who really catches anything. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I knew. Mwakuda. Oh. This 
business of what you just tested. We never can think of going back home. <laughs> Namde, we have watched you very closely. The king of Asa bid us to eight. Married off his daughter to you. But then, we made her barren. You made my wife barren? That's evil. Yes, because we wanted you. And when you chose to come to the evil forest to look for them for, we knew you've come home. I want to go back to myself. Good. You have more love, yeah? Eat whatever thing you like till you're dead. You will never walk. All you need to do is sleep with everyone, day and night. We want to reproduce once again. This is now your home. And turn my male offspring to slaves? There's no sleep here. Just for things to take its proper shape and order. We are all yours. Tomorrow, we'll bury the late king. And afterward, you will become our new king. Akwangwa will be the new queen. I say, where is the flute? Where is it? Oshi, where? Where? Good bush. Is that the bush? Good bush. You see, he has lost the key. Hey! 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 Our kingdom wasn't always like this. There were men as much as there are women now. A king and queen. As the name implies, the women were always in charge. The men cooked, cleaned, did the house chores, went to farms and served us, while all the women did was stay home looking ever beautiful. Just that. And prepare themselves to have babies for the men. Years ago, the men revolted. They realized that they were physically stronger than the women and started beating them at the slightest provocation. They started forcing the women to go to work, to do chores, to cook, to clean. And as if that's not enough, they even made them have babies. Men can have children. Exactly why the women should be accorded the freedom, the rest and the free will to be able to do that. Instead, whenever any woman conceives, they still expect her to keep walking, to keep going to the farm, to keep doing chores, to keep cooking and serving till the day she delivers. Look at me. Our women started dying. No strength push babies after so much work. I talked to the king. I tried to make him revert back to the old way. But instead, he beat me up. Oh, sorry about that. So, I plotted a coup. They all believe we, the women, are the weaker sex. One night, we all went to bed with sharp knives and cut the truth of all the men in our kingdom while trying to make love to us. Indeed, that's Carlos, my god. It's a woman's world. In the morning, 
we rounded up every other male. Slaughtered them. You did? But now, our hearts have softened. But we have to infuse men back into the kingdom. To serve you as it were. Exactly. That is how it was meant to be. I think you realize that you can't do without the men. You can't make yourselves pregnant. And if you don't reproduce, you will die and your kingdom will go into extinction. Enough! From where you come from, you were called Namdi, the royal guy that found favor in the eyes of the king of Assa to give the only child in marriage. How did you... There is nothing that we don't know from here. Nothing. We would have gone for your twin brother. I don't have a brother. <laughs> no, I don't have a brother. <laughs> we would have gone for your twin brother, but he has no royal blood. You were brought up from age six to assume royal feathers. I'm not here to stay. I have a princess waiting for me. You will never go back to her again. Never. With my own. By the way, where is my bag with my own fort in it? Born. 
there was a very powerful man who needed a set of twins for a certain ritual. When he heard about the birth of you and your brother, he sent his men to walk. Your father took your mother and the twins and fled. In the process of fleeing, he made the men after you and your twin follow him instead of following your mom and she made good of her escape. He drew them far into the forest. He hid your brother somewhere because he was very tired and drew them deeper into the forest. He died from the wounds inflicted on him by the five men and no one lives to tell the story. <laughs> Uh, what an interesting story. Your father was a warrior from every sense of that word. And you are like your father. Your twin brother was picked up by hunters from a neighboring village. Just like you, he survived. You know, since you people are good in telling stories, why not tell me another story? And when your father didn't return, your mother panicked. She kept on till she got to Asa. As it pleased the gods, that night she died. And like you, nobody heard the story of her journey. I don't have a twin brother, please. Oh, you know is that the guards from the king's palace saw you and your dying mother took you to the palace before she passed on. Yes, I heard about that. But all those tales about my having a twin brother are just what they are. Tales. You wouldn't have me here if you weren't great. We saw your star. We needed to quickly populate our kingdom. Start him with me. No, he must start with me. Says who? Says I. Is... Enough! I... <laughs> Go inside the bush and look at the flute. It is here. Somewhere there. My queen, where is the princess? Okay, okay. Um, my late brother, the king, advised that we walk together. <laughs> and you left me here all alone? Ah, well, how could I have left you alone? It was because you didn't require my wisdom. <laughs> Probably because you were only interested in becoming the next king. No. It was because of the possibility that Nande, you know, uh, uh, will not return, you know? Is that your wish? My wish? No. I... <laughs> you see, you see, when one thinks of uh, success, one feels what they think of a failure. Yes. Mm. Nande will come back. I sense danger here. I sense danger here. But no matter how busy the ant is, the lion is always the king of the bush. I'll see it! I'll see it! I'll see it! I'll see it! 
Asini! 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 Mata! Asini! 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 He's gone. He's gone. What do you mean he's gone? I don't know. Maoja can no longer locate him. I don't understand you. Whenever I blow Maoja, I see him clearly and he hears me. Then go and find him. Maoja. Then go. He must return. This kingdom cannot fall into the wicked hands of Chief Magnus. to get me pregnant before anyone else. No. I told you to go for him. But you did not. Akwangwa went for him. So, she will be our next queen and the first to get pregnant in the kingdom. Let her be queen, but please let me be the first to sleep with him. Please, mother. No. What are you looking for? Your wife came with. But you don't need it any longer. I know. But I have to be in constant sight of it. What you need to be in constant sight of is my nakedness. And we can start off immediately. Uh, but your mom said uh, we can only start after my coronation tomorrow. You shouldn't be here! And neither should you! He's not yet the king to your room this moment, I call mother! How dare you? You know who we are. To your room. of the women kingdom. A princess? Yes. I can't wait to be your queen. Very soon. I have a princess. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful princess. The love of my life. Mm -hmm. No. The one that can't wait to discard you as soon as she has a male child? What do you know? Everything. Okay? 
But this is no time for stories. Come on. Everyone is waiting for you. There was a king in the women's kingdom. What happened to him? I killed him. Years ago. But he's going to kill me again.
Who is that? You little shit, that's what the annuals. What are you doing here? Is this how it's going to end? Asa is finished. I am the angel of the Most High God. You asked for help. I am here to take you home. Thank you, Doctor. I must return to the palace immediately. You're free to go now, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What type of tunic are you? And why are you here? Repent of your evil ways. Come back here. Come back. Come back. The more said that if he doesn't come back today, he will not come back again. Calm down. The day is not yet over. Mm. He will be back. Just calm down. Mm. Okay. Mm. What is it, my king? Epic. 
Everything has gone wrong. Everybody that matters to me is dead. And that useless Namde is back. But I'm going to make sure that there's no coronation at all. Must come with him to the palace. During the coronation, I am going to give you instructions on what to do. Eh? I'll become the queen tomorrow. Yes. Listen, don't mess it up. This has to do with royalty. You must follow my instructions to the letter. Is that clear? Mess up my chance of becoming the queen of Asa Kingdom. Chief never. Ancestors, the gods of Asai Kingdom have desired for you to be crowned. We do it now so that we'll be able to bury your father in law tomorrow morning. It is a lie, Mr. That is not true. We have a tradition in Asa. The princess doesn't have a child, and my child from him. She is yet to conceive after seven years. It is a sign, my prince, that the gods reject him as your husband. He cannot be crowned. On the contrary, my wife is pregnant. Yes, I am three weeks pregnant. My husband. That can be true. Life. It is true. I am Dr. Ken. I tested her myself. It is true. She is pregnant and is a boy. Now, it falls into place. The man who picked the offer with his hands from the evil forest rightly becomes the king of Asa Kingdom. Asa and Kebo of Asa Kingdom. My master, the great king of this kingdom, chose me as the man for his only child. I will ever remain loyal to the man who was my father, my father-in-law. He told me that the journey to this throne will be a very tough one. He also told me that if I believe God, he will fight the battle for me. By the grace of God, I am alive today to be a witness to this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Are you going to abandon us now? Because of the drone? What of all the promises you made to us? You? This same woman? Gave birth to your child? Who are you, woman? Nandi. You're going to stand there and look into my eyes and ask me, Uloma, who I am. I don't know you. I've never set my eyes on you. <laughs> oh. you like this? <laughs> I don't know this woman. Doctor is here. Let us ask him. Doctor, what can you tell us? Yes, of course. I deliver this baby. His Highness here came to the hospital even to pick them two weeks ago. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain of what you are saying, Doctor? As a more, I'm very sure of what I'm saying. Um, then, we can't crown him. Oh. Who are you? Jesus Christ. I am Oluchu from Ebenebe. This man met me last year at Mbili Festival and approached me. He paid me good money and brought me to Asa Kingdom to impersonate the king to be. He brought me to Asa Kingdom and I observed the king to be. And I saw that we look alike in every way. I played a long role because why I was dating Uloma. He brought picture, uh, photographers to take pictures. So I played along until Oloma delivered. It was when he tried to kill me but failed. That's when I started asking questions. What are you talking about? Hey. What are you talking about? Why are you putting? Let me tell this. Why are you I'm going to be the king of a star kingdom and nobody can stop me. No. Nobody will stop no. me. No. Nobody will stop me. No. Nobody will stop me. No. Oh. I is your brother. Oh. Yes. yes. I did it. I killed Chief Ridika. Hey! Then my brother. After that. I now sent Ijenganga to go and sniff knife out of Ishimi. Over Guse, Lord Kunike. Over Guse, Lord Nike. Oh, yeah. You, you are my twin brother. Get 
Yeah. 